Now what we have here is a tank with water. At the bottom here, bottom tank has a water. We're about to transfer the water from the bottom tank to the top tank using the PLC, the programmable logic controller. Uh, this time we're not using sensors. The previous project which was sensor one and sensor two, the low level sensor and the high level sensor. But this time we're not using sensor. We're gonna use timers in the PLC to control the pump right here. So as we can see, the program right here, T0, 299 and T1 500. Now what this means is that this will count up to 200 and, um, 299 milliseconds, that is 229 seconds and when this is off and this is still running the motor would kick in and the light will also go on and the water begins to pump. Now when it reaches 500 milliseconds when it reaches 50 seconds the motor will shut off and it will start a cycle again. Uh, the contact has to be initiated. That's the X001. We put an X001 on, and the whole thing should start counting. Now, this one is going to count up to 299. When this one is off, and as you can see, they count at the same time. When this one goes off, 299. When this goes off, and this is still running, the motor will kick in and the light will go on again. Right now, we're here. Let's wait a minute and see if this is going to go on. Right there. There it is. It kicks in and it begins to pump the water until it reaches 50 seconds. Now, when it reaches 50 seconds, which is 500, it's counting right now. The motor will shut off and the light will shut off as well. That's it right there. And the water begins to drop again until T0 is, is, is put a stop and T1 is still running the motor will kick in again and allow it to go on again and the cycle goes on until the circuit right there is broken let's have a closer look there we go goes back on again and the water pumps it right there in that's a pump right there, pumping the water through. 